students good morning you have already studied all the courses you have finished almost all the required courses of vscag honors now you are engaged in rave work before going to rural areas what are the tips to visit field and how, what are the tips which should, which should be followed while carrying rural rural work rural works attachment of farmers so as you know that insect pest and other pest non insect pest are so many in the ecosystem and uh, pest fauna varies from region to region season to season and even in different varying crop growth stages also pest can, can be identified by different ways so how to diagnose the pest attack how to diagnose the real pest situ situation this must be known and for that i am here to pinpoint all those points crop plants are damaged by various insect pest and non insect pest species and in most of the cases injury symptom caused by the pest species present on the host plant are very is full and helpful in identifying the pest species even in the absence of that very pest for identifying the pest problem two indication are present in the field first indication is presence of the pest second indication is pest are not there they have already damaged the crop and fled away from that very field and in that case only symptoms of injury are there which are present on the affected crop so based on the presence of pest or based on the presence of injury symptoms caused by the pest present on the host plant you can identify which pest have damaged your crop which pest are damaging your crop as such morphological character of different pest should be known as well as the damage injury symptoms caused by the pest expressed on the host plant should be known and for that for this having this two tip, tips the presence of pest and presence of symptom of injury caused by the pest on the host plant you have to enter into the field you have to go nearby field or you have to walk across the field with with vigilant eyes then you can be able to visualize the real pest problem therefore for taking decision for managing the pest problem in a particular point of time it is very essential to visualize the real pest by their proper identification and therefore pest can be identified in field condition on the basis of number one morphological characters of the pest species and second one is symptom of injury expressed on the host plant or manifestation of injury caused by the pest on the host plant about the different morphological features of the pest you have already studied in the in uh, previous courses you have also studied the symptom of injury caused by different pests in different crops in different seasons so you should collect your memories you could, you should keep a fresh yourself in terms of this tips of identification of pest 
however i will here uh, give some highlight about the symptom of injury caused by the pest in different crops on the basis of which you can identify the real pest problem which pest have, have have caused the damage on the crop so here symptom of injury expressed on the host plant on manifestation of the injury caused by the pest especially to the crop plants and this talk this presentation would be useful in identifying the major pest of some common crop plants on the basis of injury symptoms expressed on the host plants caused by different pest species which ultimately helps in decision making for adoption of proper plant protection measures for sustainable crop production based on the degree of severity of the pest infestation degree of the damage caused by the pest in the form of manifestation of damages injury either and for this having an idea about the pest and the symptoms field visit is required field study is required visit the field periodically for taking the observation on the pest incidence in abundance closely observe the general appearance of the plants even from outside of the field and enter the field and try to locate the infested plant try to collect the uh, infested plant if the, you are able not able to identify that very pest so in that case you have to collect the affected plant plant or affected plant parts and uh, you, uh, then you bring that very plant samples to the experts and ask him ask them he will help you to identify the pest problem and you you can match the symptoms with your different uh, it tools also and, and meaning there why you, you can identify the real pest situation for solving them on the spot also so i i am just coming to some major crop so first crop most important crop of the, our country and the state is rice rice is the sustainable food for uh, our country and the state so what are the pest probable pest and their uh, injury symptoms especially on the plant uh, in case of rice rice uh, ha, uh, the whole group uh, crop growth stage of rice can be uh, categorized into nursery stage vegetative stage the productive stage then harvesting stage so right from sowing to harvesting different type of crop different different type of pest are affecting the crop damaging the crop so first uh, think upon nursery nursery stage of the rice if curling of leaves and discoloration of pointed tip of leaf is there even the uh, situation where moisture stress is not found in the field this indicates that thrips are present in the field to cause the damage in spite of sufficient moisture <coughs> present in the field if curling of leaf is there and pointing pointed tip of leaf is there this indicates the presence of thrip pest which is a sucking pest which suck the cells from the leaf second one is yellowing and withering of plants if yellowing and withering of plant is there then probably leaf and plant hoppers are there in the field to cause the damage and if there is presence of dead herd this indicates the rice that very rice field is affected by stem borers after transplantation that is that is uh, rice field just after transplantation a scraping of leaf surface with parallel white, white streaks along the mid rib due to loss of chlorophyll as you know that both grub and adult of rice spa scrape the chlorophyll content of leaf and due to a scraping or the void of chlorophyll content of leaf white stripe 
form of the leaf, which is almost parallel to the mid rib of the leaf of affected leaf. This indicates the presence of hispa damage. Hispa is there in the field. Then if dead heart is there, that is, if growing central shoot, central tiller is drying and drooping downwards, and this symptom is known as dead heart, and this dead heart indicates the presence of attack of stem borer. If the central shoot of rice in vegetative stage is, the, is the resemble like onion shoot, onion leaf, then this, this indicates the attack of rice gall midge. And rice gall midge attacks the plant right from the side to the vegetative stage just below, just before panicle initiation stage. And the maximum uh, attack is uh, observed usually in tilling stage also. Then tilling stage. Presence of tubular cases hanging with the plants on floating in the field or papery and cut appearance of the leaf. Case worm, Nymphola dipentilis is a uh, insect pest which causes damage to the rice leaf in transplanted rice condition. Rice case worm is not a problem of upland rice where water stagnation in the field is not present. So, larva of case worm cut the leaf, make tubular cases which are hanging, hanging with the affected leaf and that, that hanging leaves, cut leaves, tub, uh, leaf cases are ultimately fall down in the water. So, presence of floating leaf cases and uh, presence of tubular cases hanging with the plants and grazing appearance of the field indicates the attack of rice case worm. Then leaves folded and joined along the margin. Sometimes leaf margin are tightened together, fold together and within the leaf fold, if you teach the leaf, there is a either presence of the green, green type of larva or uh, granular excreta of the uh, that uh, insect if insect has already fled away. So this symptom indicates the presence of leaf folder in the eyes. Then dead heart, dead heart, presence of dead heart indicate also the presence of a stem borer. Then silver shoot, resemblance of uh, growing shoot of the central shoot of the rice then resemble with onion leaf this indicates the presence of attack of columns and white tunnels or mines parallel to the mid rib of leaves this indicates rice has been damaged by grub of hispa and white parallel streaks on the leaves also indicate the uh, presence of hispa on that very field then flowering stage, if some green type of insect a smelling buggy smell, the such type of insect is known as Gandhi bug. Gandhi, Gandhi, Gandhi bug comes from the uh, a special type of pungent smell, buggy smell. And buggy smell, if coming from the field, this shows the field has been affected by Gandhi bug. And even the chaffy grains or few chaffy grains on the same year, same year of the plant is there, then Gandhi bug, uh, attack of Gandhi bug is there. If white ear heads are present in the field, this indicates that the crop is affected by a stem borer in reproductive stage and panicle cutoff. If 
the panicle is cut down then it indicates the our field is that very field is affected by attack of cutworm or armyworm or aspodoptera a species or methymnops a species so this is all about the symptoms of injury caused by different major pest in case of rice now come to maize maize is second most important cereal crop in the country so seedling stage root and lower portion of the stem eaten away if roots and lower portion of the stem is eaten away and uh, plant is showing the drying symptom this, this means our crop is our maize crop is affected by termite white ant if pin holes in leaves of central hoard and after what dead heart formation uh, are found in the case of maize crop this indicates the uh, attack of a stem borer in case of maize then vegetative stage many holes in the stem also indicates many holes of many holes in the stem of the stem borer also indicates the presence of a stem borer short hole is there if on the stem and in the leaf also then uh, it indicates the presence of a stem borer in the field then come to pulses crop in general if young seedling of pulses cut down at the ground level it indicates the attack of cutworm agrotis ipsilon and if the root roots are damaged by um, certain insect root may be damaged by two type of insect cutworm and termite so young seedling if cut down at the ground level it indicates the presence of either cutworm or white ant or termite vaporive white leaves in moong urd copy soybean etc indicate the presence of bihar hairy caterpillar and attack of bihar hairy caterpillar starts from july onwards up to the month of december and after december it bent into hibernation and then again appear in the uh, next year after onset of monsoon hole in the green pods gram pods through which the caterpillar may be seen feeding by the inserting its head and uh, uh, other part of body is hanging outside it indicates the attack of gram pod borer in case of chickpea or gram leaves turn brown with uneven surface so is the attack of leaf hover in different pulses crop white zigzag tunnels in the leaf white zigzag tunnel white in appearance indicates the presence of leaf miners and big hole on the pigeon pea pod uh, indicates the attack of gram pod borer gram caterpillar hover armigera in case of pigeon pea and minute hole on the pigeon pea pods indicate the presence of pod fly not gram pod borer big hole is there on the pigeon pea pod then a presence of gram pod and gram caterpillar is there if a minute hole on the pigeon pea pods are there then it, it, it indicates the presence of pod fly webbed bunch of leaves if the growing twigs leaves on growing twigs having web bunch of leaves buds and pods then it indicates that the pigeon pea is affected by a spotted pod borer maruka species then come to wild seed crop wild seed crop if curly leaves distorted shoots in in in, in flotations and tender pods are found particularly in winter season that it is indication of attack of aphid aphid affected field also having numerous <coughs> presence of 
and this also indicates presence of aphid. The numerous tiny holes, small holes on the tender leaves, in case of cruciferous vegetables, mm, crops like mustard, it indicates the presence of a type of flea If the holes in leaves of young plants, ascularized leaves, in severe infestation, as in case of mustard, it indicates the presence of a type of mustard supply. Then she held an, an opened flower buds, as in case of linseed, which in, which it indicates the presence of a type of linseed bird fly, in case of linseed. Then come to sugar cane. Leaves, all the parts of sugar cane is affected by different types of insect pest. So first we observe the leaves. If a lowish dried leaves and sooty mold on the leaves are there, sooty mold means black, a sticky material are found in the leaf of sugar cane. This indicates the attack of sugar cane leaf hopper, which is popularly known as pyrilla. Then uh, watch the stem, red pith, a hole on the outside plugged with excreta is present on the stem. It indicates the attack of stem borer in case of the sugar cane. And the, if underground portion of the, it, uh, of the cane is eaten away and dried and cent central suit is there, then root borer uh, are the main pest um, affecting the sugar cane. Then vegetable crops. Come to vegetable crop. Vegetable crop are widely and severely and continuously damaged by various types of insect pest. Without providing plant protection umbrella, it is difficult to raise the vegetable crop. So, plant protection umbrella is <coughs> required for growing vegetables sustainably in a profitable way. And protection may be given by applying different plant protection uh, devices, operations. If the uh, uh, vegetables are growing in, in organic mode, then protection should be uh, protection through organic mode. And if the conventional mode, the vegetable is grown in conventional mode, then it, it can be, uh, protection umbrella can be provided with the help of different type of uh, chemical insecticide or eco-friendly insecticides or their mixed combination. Then come to vegetable. In case of leaves of vegetable, if parallel a scraping of appearance, browning and total diffusion is found, particularly in case of brinjal, it shows the attack of ephylacna beetle. And if a lowing or lust red and crinkled leaves and curl edges are found in case of uh, brinjal and okra, then it shows the attack of leaf hopper of gestures. If holes in leaves in early stage of cucurbits type of vegetables, it shows the attack of red pumping beetle. Then <coughs> in case of Cucurbitaceous vegetable that is cauliflower, cabbage, and all call. DVM is a universal pest. Diamond back moth is a universal pest which is minute insect larva of this pest cause damage to our cauliflower, cabbage, and all call. And symptoms are tunnels on the under surface of the leaf with blackish excreta at the opening. As in cold crop, that is uh, uh, cauliflower, cabbage, and null call. This shows the attack of diamond back moth. And holes in leaves, as in cabbage and cauliflower, it shows also attack, the, uh, attack of diamond back moth, DVM. Then waving on under surface of leaves, pale yellowish dots on the upper surface, curling of leaves. As in case of okra, brinjal, cowpea, French bean, etc., it shows the attack of a spider mite. As you know, that aphid attack uh, is maximum observed in winter season. And reverse to this, mite attack are observed in case in the uh, summer season or 
before summer season, as spring season also, or post monsoon season. And the highest attack of aspiral mite takes place in summer season. And the symptoms are, if you observe the undersurface of leaf, there are uh, waves, wavings are there, and fill yellow wavings are present in undersurface, whereas pale yellow or white dots are appearing on the upper surface of leaves and curling of leaves are also there. This shows the attack of a spider mite. And this takes place in spring season and summer season or just post monsoon season. Curling, twisting and rotating of leaves and flower buds and young twigs in case of chili it shows the presence of yellow mite. Yellow mite is a major insect pest of chili. And thrips is a major, uh, yellow mite is a major non-insect pest, mite pest. It is mite pest, that is non-insect pest. And thrips is the major insect pest in case of chili, which suck the cell shape. Both mite and thrips, both are sucking, sucking pest for chili. Then, come in case of fruit, fruits of vegetable crops. If shoot dro drooping, hole on fruit surface, as in case of brinjal inopra, if growing shoot is shows drooping appearance, in a spite of having good moisture condition in the soil, and some holes are also there in the, on the stem, this, show, this shows a type of stem borer or a type of shoot and fruit borer. In, in, initially, the growing shoot are affected by foot and shoot borer and after fruiting it also attack on the um, developing fruit, particularly in the case of brinjal and okra. Brinjal and okra is the most, uh, and tomato also, is most affected by shoot and fruit borer, um, fruit borer also. Distorted fruits with hole at the point of flexion, fruit fly, as in cucurbits, all cucurbits uh, fruits are affected by fruit fly and uh, at the point of attack of fruit fly, there is a uh, point of flexion in the fruit. Uh, th this also shows the uh, attack of fruit fly. <coughs> then come to fruit crop. <coughs> if conical gourds are present at the tip of growing shoot, Growing shoot of the mango. This shows the present, uh, attack of mango shoot gold maker. Mango shoot gold maker. This uh, starts uh, from July onwards. So July onwards, systemic polar spray of systemic insecticides should be given at uh, fortnightly or monthly interval in order to prevent the attack of mango shoot gold maker on the mango orchards or mango plants. Withering and browning of inflorescence, withering and browning of inflorescence, uh, leaf surface, uh, shining or uh, covered with sooty mold is the indication of attack of mango hopper. Mango hopper are tiny or minute insect which are found on the mango tree in a huge population and they suck the cells from the uh, mango inflorescence, mango flowers and in Hindi it is called manjar also <coughs> and in manjar or mango inflorescence, mango flower, mango hopper are uh, found in huge population and they suck this um, shape of the uh, inflorescence and uh, the symptom is withering and browning of inflorescence and leaf surface shining over covered with the sooty mold and affected uh, plants leaves become shining and ultimately covered with sooty mold, black sooty mold. It, this, is, this is the indication of a type of mango hopper. Then leaves eaten up from margin Particular, particular, particularly in case of particularly in case of 
lemon butterfly. This shows the presence of lemon butterfly. Then serpentine leaves uh, mines are present. This is an indication of uh, citrus leaf miner. And chocolate brown velvetic growth on under surface of the leaf, curling of leaves. Uh, as in case of lychee, it shows the presence of lychee mite, attack of lychee mite in case of astrogan paste. Astrogan paste. What are the symptoms of injury of astrogan paste? If the circular exit hole on the grain is found as in case of rice, wheat, maize, this shows the attack of rice weevil. If the feeding marks on the surface of grain is uh, found in a severe infestation near the embryo, the grains are turned into fresh. This uh, indicates the attack of copra beetle in a stored grain. This is polyphagous phase for a stored grain. Whereas rice weevil is the uh, most major pest, most severe pest for rice in a stored condition. Then grain with irregular holes or dirty appearance due to floor, floor occurrence in severe infestation, grains are converted into floor and fresh. It is indication of lesser grain growing. Then come to pulses grain. If perfectly cut round holes are present on the grain of pulses, which remains sealed by a transparent layer through which the pupa or the adult ready to emerge can be seen as in case in pulses. This indicates the uh, attack of pulses vitil in the godown of pulse grain. And pulse vitil is the most injurious paste in godown for pulse grains. Only broken grain and floor are infested. Floor vitil is a assorted paste which usually attack only broken grains and floor. Uh, uh, whole grain cannot be uh, in, in whole grain. Uh, attack of floor beetle is not found. Floor beetle, both adult and grab, can cause damage only to broken grains or floors or maida suji, etc. The floor turns pale yellow and emits bad smell in severe infestation. And lumping on of uh, lumping of uh, that very um, floor is uh, also found in case of attack of floor beetle. Empty shell due to complete feeding. Empty shell due to complete feeding of the nuts. In case of ground nut, empty shell due to complete feeding of the nuts are observed, and this shows the attack of ground nut reveal. Holes in grains, partly filled with excreta. Sometimes the entire contents are eaten up. A characteristic flap door is made through which the adult emerges. And such types of symptoms, if seen on the sort of grain, it shows the uh, attack of angomyous grain moth. And presence of webbed masses of the grains, powdered grains, and fecal matter which may be clumped tightly if uh, this is found generally in uh, old a stock of rice. Lumping of grain is there and the presence of webbed mass of the grains, powdered grains and fecal matter which may be clumped tightly and when we open the uh, clumped um, lot of grain whitish, milkish, uh, uh, a small larvae is there. This shows the presence of attack of rice moth. Then presence of wave of silicon threads contaminated with fresh is, shows the indication of presence of Indian meal moth in the surgeon paste. So this is all about the diagnosis of pest attack in field condition, in uh, ground condition, in different major crops by different major pests. So um, by having the clear cut uh, tips about the symptom of injury, you can identify the particular 
pest species and accordingly you can apply a particular or effective control measure in order to manage the pest both in godown and field as well. So management of insect pest for sustainable rice production or any crop, particularly in case of rice, yellow as the borer gall meal, his power leaf holder, green leaf hover, BPH, termite, etc. are major pest. For management of any pest in field condition, you can apply different cultural methods, mechanical methods, biological methods, chemical methods, and ultimately blending of more than one method of pest control if you apply in comparable manner, keeping in the uh, keep, keep, keeping the safety of environment and health, this will this will, will determine application of integrated pest management. And different major methods are deep summer plowing, field sanitation, proper field preparation, irrigation management, repairing and sending of bunts around the field, regulation of water in the field as per requirement of the crop and the season and the stage of the crop, and seed treatment, seedling treatment, proper insecticidal uh, granules application in the nursery bed, then application of uh, neem cake, current cake or mahua cake as a manure, proper uh, use of pest resistant varieties in the cultivation of different crops, use of granular insecticides in the main field based on needs, foliar application of uh, recommended in chemical insecticide or uh, eco friendly insecticides or bio pesticides based on the uh, intensity of the um, pest attack you can manage the crop effectively. I advise you to go through your Bisa Kisan diary in which tips of agriculture has been described, all the crop has been dealt uh, in short in terms of agronomical issues, horticultural issues, uh, issues related with the management of fertilizer and uh, manures. Uh, how to keep them in go down, how to store in the go down, etc. So your visa diary also helps a lot when you uh, carry out rave work in, a, in your rave work program. So all the best for uh, your rave work. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.